This video will present to you combined stresses and analysis of combined stresses. Now this topic may fairly be complicated. Now as an engineering student you don't really need to know how to derive these equations but you certainly need to understand the final product. Okay, so if it's a bit complicated keep practicing and you'll be okay. Now to begin with, what is combined stresses? An element that undergoes different kind of stresses. So for example if we load an element we can have both shear strains and both um, normal strains as well. So normal stresses and shear stresses undergone at the same time. This is called combined stresses. Okay. Now if we look at this um, element over here, this rectangular element, this one right here, and we load it in pure tension. We take out this little element from the rectangle and we enlarge it over here. So if we just look at this little infinitesimal element, um, the original position is the red rectangle. Okay, after it's uh, loaded in pure tension, you can see the final product, which is the black dashed lines. Now, if you notice, um, the shape has gotten longer and thinner, but there was no horizontal strains. Okay, so it's only gotten longer and it's gotten thinner. Okay, so what are the properties? There was no horizontal strains, no ver only vertical strains, as you can see by the elongation. Um, the element has not changed shape and the corners, this is important, the corners remain at right angles okay so this corner here this one, this one and this one are also at right angles now this means that there are no shear strains experienced when the, when the corners remain at right angles no shear strains that's what it is okay now what happens if we have 